Okay, we're going to play kickball today. The bases are already set, and I'd like Bill and Stacy to be team captains. Okay, pick your teams. Kick! Bill! 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 I pick Brad! Bill! Bill! Nobody cares whether I play or not. They never do. Okay, Christy, you take outfield. Can't I just watch? Miss Yardy says everyone has to play. I'm always the last one picked. And I know why. I must be the worst player there is. I wish I never had to play kickball again. I wish. But wishing doesn't change anything. Everybody quiet. Messing up in the game was bad enough. But now this. I don't know what it is about Brad Mason. Sorry. That he's one person I could do without, especially today. But we ride the same bus, so from the time I start to school in the morning, there he is. He thinks he's so smart. Boy, is he wrong. No. Write out the answers to the questions on page 262, chapter 10. You may use your books if you need to. Page 262, Brad. You have 30 minutes, so take your time. If you haven't finished when the bell rings, just hand in whatever you have. When he gets to class, Brad Mason stops acting smart and starts playing dumb. Miss Rogers, I don't understand this question. What is friction? That's where to start. Oh, that one. It's the next one I didn't get. Take them in order, Brad, starting with what is friction? If you ask me, he's just lazy. Back when we were learning to read, Brad was too lazy to do it. And now he'll never catch up. Not that he tries. He either guesses, or he tricks the teacher, or somebody into reading everything for him. Miss Rogers, I still can't understand the second question. OK. Everyone hand in their papers to the left. He just wastes time, but he gets by with it and gets special attention because of it. A teacher they call the LD teacher comes in and goes over stuff all the rest of us had to learn a long time ago. Well, war. 
Right. Very good. Okay. Now this one's a little bit different. Now what's this first sound? What? Okay. The rest of the word. Where? Right. Right. Very good. Okay. Now what's this one? Sounds it out. So? Oh, was. I get those two mixed up a lot. And they went in a body to How about that? Nobody else in the room pretends he can't tell one word from another. But Brad Mason does. And that rates him something special. Thank you, Andy. Christy? Christy? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. Would you read the next paragraph, starting with, but they didn't smile for long? But they didn't smile for long, for the storm went on and went on, and no one had ever seen the like of it. The thunder roared and the lightning flashed. Afternoon recess wasn't as bad as the morning one. I was with Terry. Good teamwork. Good, Christy and Terry. You feel all right if you can make yourself useful somehow. Terry's neat. All of us are sorry about the wheelchair. But you don't have to feel sorry for him, because he doesn't. About the time I decided this might not be such a bad day after all. Christy, I wonder if you could stay a minute after the bell rings. I'll see that you don't miss your bus. What'd they do? Not sure she was mad at me for something. Christy, I need your help. You're one of our best readers, and I need someone who's really good at it. You've probably noticed that Brad isn't as good at reading as you are, that he has a problem. He understands what he hears, but when it comes to reading... Christy, all of us have certain strengths and certain weaknesses. Your strength is reading. But Brad doesn't have that advantage. He's smart, but he just can't learn some things as easily as a good reader might. That's why the LD teacher works with him. Is that what LD means? Can't read? No. LD stands for learning disabled. It means there's something wrong that Brad can't help. But many times, an LD child can show improvement if he works hard and the rest of us work with him. Sometimes a learning disability can even be outgrown. But what can I do? You can share your strength with him. You can read him things that he isn't able to read by himself right now. That way he can hear things that he isn't quite able to handle in written form yet. Well, okay. Good. We'll talk about it later. You don't want your bus to leave without you. <laughs> I still thought Brad could read if he wanted to. That he was just using other people to keep from doing things himself. But, okay, I'd help Miss Rogers, even if it meant being stuck with Brad. So I started reading to Brad, something nearly every day. Social studies, science, so he'd know what the rest of us were talking about in class. It wasn't so bad. I felt like it was an honor, sort of. Proof that I was kind of special, to be picked to help Miss Rogers and the LD teacher. I never thought what it must feel like for Brad. How long does it take for the complete life cycle of the fruit fly to occur? How long does it take for the larva to hatch? But insects grow and change in a different way from most animals. From egg to adult, they change form several times. Metamorphosis. What? Metamorphosis, that's what you call it, when larva changes into pupa and then into an adult. Did I already read this to you? No, my grandfather told me when he helped me start my butterfly collection. Well, if you think you know what it says, why don't you go ahead and read it? Mm. The... Mm. Mm. I can't. Can't read. The minute I did it, 
I knew I'd done just what Miss Rogers said not to do, make Brad feel bad because he needed help. Just the way he said, I can't. Class, it's time to go. Christy, Brad, we have five minutes. For some reason, I thought how I feel when it's time to play kickball. And I know I'm gonna mess up. For the first time, I knew that was the way Brad felt. When he had to try to read and knew he couldn't. If I'd just have kept my big mouth shut. I was saving that seat for somebody. Yeah, well, I only wanted to tell you. I want to see your butterfly collection. Why? Uh, because that's what I was thinking of entering in the science fair. A butterfly collection. All I have to do is catch some and mount them. Hey, Jay, I was saving you a seat. If I caught some and brought them over, would you show me how to mount them? I guess. Now move. Jay's coming. Help me with my butterflies. I did? Yeah, remember the ones for the science fair? You said if I caught some, you'd show me how to mount them. Who is it, Brad? Oh, just for the kids from school, Mom. I haven't got time right now. Hello. Brad, where are your manners? Introduce your friend. Hi, my name is Christy Carson. Brad promised to help me with my butterfly collection for the science fair. He's going to show me how to mount them. Brad didn't tell us about a science fair. Maybe he could enter his collection, too. His grandfather specializes in the study of insects, so Brad has had some help. But he's done most of the work himself, and his collection is really quite good. Aw, Mom. No, Brad. Now, don't put yourself down. It is a good collection. See if you don't think so. Go on, Brad. Show her. Golly. So beautiful. And so many. It just takes a while to get them straight. You're gonna think mine are awful. Cut in my hand, didn't ya? That damages their wings, rubs all the scales off. If you're gonna collect butterflies, you gotta learn how to do it right. How? Brad knew a whole lot more about science than the rest of us. I'd been wrong about him. He wasn't dumb or lazy. There was something about reading he couldn't handle, just like Miss Rogers said. And it seemed to be something wrong with the way he saw words on a page. Then. Were. You're going to have to write this one, Brad. Oh, where? I knew that. Yeah, you just need a little bit of practice. Okay, look at it. Okay, now write, write what you saw. You got it. Like you said with butterflies, it takes a while to get them straight. I thought Brad was about to get the hang of reading, and maybe he was even beginning to think so. But with some of the other kids... What's this? Read it and find out, or maybe you'd rather have Christy read it to you. Lay off, Linda. You don't make fun of Terry. I wasn't making fun of him. I was only joking. No, you weren't. You were acting as if he wants to be read to. Well, he doesn't. He wants to be just like everybody else, but he's not, so he tries the best he can. It's okay, Christy. No, it's not. Somebody's got to tell him. I guess it's easier for other people if your problems are something they can see. Mom, an honorable mention. That's wonderful. Good work. You must be Terry. 
Yes. Is this your project? Yes. Congratulations. I'm the judge. I really liked it. Hi, Terry. Hi, Adrian. People act different toward Terry than they usually do toward Brad. Oh, I made the D backwards. No, you didn't. See? You're doing fine. Go on. What's the next one? Let me see. Brad wouldn't enter his butterflies in the science fair. Said he'd had too much help from his grandfather and me. Because, you see, I had this idea. It wouldn't be so boring to copy stuff over and over if you were learning to write words that were important to you. So I said I'd help him label his collection. Boy, I didn't know what I was getting into. What I had to learn. Hard words like Aphrodite fritillary and tiger swallowtail. And whether it was my idea or just having a friend around who believed in him. Brad was having nowhere near the trouble he used to have. It made me feel real, real good. OK, you have your captains. Pick your team. But not as good as I felt later. I pick Greg. Stacy. I pick Christy. Oh, she's got to learn somehow. I'm still not much good at sports, but I'm not always the last one picked anymore, because now I try. Brad taught me that. You've got to keep trying. Nobody's perfect. We've all got our strengths, and we've all got our weaknesses. And sometimes sharing our strengths just takes a word or two. Whatever will help somebody else keep trying to handle a handicap.